you know, I got parasite and them pills you always force it on us. They all inside me right now, I'm grabbing not me. I told y'all people a hundred times this happening. No one listens, so now I keep my mouth shut. Keep my thoughts inside safe from your doctors. You know, you had a psychiatric test when you joined the service. Here it's, uh, no red flags, you passed. Can you explain that? What's changed? I started ending, like transmissions from a radio. That's how I came to me, I had to throw that chair at my CO, got this idea he was the devil. Even after the chair hit him, and so I tried to put him out the window, and then they locked me up in that military prison. Tell me about what happened there. Yeah, mm. yeah they had the mezzo. They had this machine, he brought a little food, like a train, round and round. Ooh. That thing made a noise, I don't like talking. Telling me he was gonna kill me and the other man said, yeah, kill us up and twist us all up. So, I kill it first. You know, you're quite a remarkable case, Sydney. You have persecutory delusions, religious delusions, and somatic delusions. Maybe the first patient in history to have them all at once. <laughs> of course, the other possibility is that you're faking mental illness to get yourself a Section 8. That would be 20 years in the break. What do you think? I can't sit down no more. <laughs> Let me tell you some things that went in your assessment. Like after my boat hits Miami, I see I can't live no kind of life in the South. Making my way up from New York, I met a man, a hero in the Great War. But he ain't getting no medals because they don't get older people like us. One day a couple of deputies, half his age, harass him walking home. He talked back just a little. You know what they do? They pluck out his eyes with their knife sticks. That's a very sad story, Sid. Come on, we're here to talk about you. Why did you join the army? Cause I is cold. <clears throat> Jokey, right? You never spend a winter in New York, living on the street. Rats sniffing around you, people kicking you for pocket change. Do that and you'll go any place for food and warm bed. I lie about my age and got stationed at that veterans hospital. That hospital. The man by the door is missing his legs. The man by the window missing his face. The man in the corner, he missing his soul. He will to live. And I'm in there cleaning bare pants, tripping filthy bits, mopping up blood. Do all that and then have to eat at a separate table from the white man. And only after they get all this, that enough to make a man lose his mind because nobody asked about that when I did your test. I, I, I don't like army segregation either. Be the same thing in jail if you send me there. 20 years of it. You don't believe I'm crazy now I could get there quick in jail? I promise you that. Sydney, let's say that I were to believe that you're unwell. That would mean I can't let you walk out of here. What? Your course of treatment could include electroconvulsive therapy, and medication, and surgical procedures. So if I'm crazy, it's shock treatments, cutting open my head, drugging me till I can't do nothing, but throw down my shirt all day. And if I nod, it's the break for 20 years. Come, you sit there on that desk deciding which hell I sent to. I need you to look in your heart and see if there isn't some other thing we can do that gives me a way out. You said yourself it ain't right the way we are treated. That just talk? Or you gonna do something to prove it? Sydney, I am going to keep you here for continued assessment. After three months, we'll see where we stand. Maybe that I find you unfit for duty, but safe to leave the hall. I am not making any promises, Sydney. I think the words you're looking for are thank you. All due respect, Captain, you got no idea what I looking for. <laughs>